This is Sam with the Frugal Hugo Gardener. I'm here with Lonnie of the Reed Farm, and he's going to go ahead and talk about his Jamaican cherry. About one of my favorite fruit trees. I cleaned this off last night. They flower constantly, they produce fruit constantly, and the berries, it's, oh my god. Cotton candy, sugar, that's, I don't know, there's no other way to describe it other than cotton candy. You gotta try some. Grab some of these ripe fruits. They are so delicious. This is unlike any berry. I think that was a cue for me to taste it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> no, it is terrific. Wow. Yeah, aren't they? That's magic. That's like, it's a treat. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh And it'll, you know, these ripen right now. And then later in the day, I'll come out here again at around 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. And I'll pull another crop. This happens every day. Ever since they started fruiting, this tree is a couple years old. Fruited a little bit last year, but this year it's just... Wow, that crazy. flavor lingers too. It's really good. The more it sits on my tongue, the better it's tasting. So that's what we get right now. But, you know, I, I pulled a whole, like, a cord off of it last night. And uh, here, grab some more of these. These things are magic. Mm, absolute magic. Yeah, the only way to describe them is a berry that tastes like cotton candy. Now, if somebody wanted to get one of these plants off you, can they do it? Um, not at the moment. I'm waiting for my order. But event I, eventually? Oh, yeah. We're going to have plenty of these. So I guess what you need to do is get a hold of Lonnie on the forum, on Facebook, on, from YouTube, wherever. Just look look him up. Look down below. We'll have his uh, the name of the farm, the Reed Farm. We'll have his phone number. Place your order in ahead of time, and he'll let you know when they're in stock. There we go. Yeah, I'm waiting for a large shipment of them because I had a bunch of them, and they sold like that because... People come here and I say, hey, have you ever tasted a Jamaican cherry? And they say, no, what's that? And I come back here, grab two or three berries, and then they leave with a tree. Every single person that tasted one of these left with a tree. Fantastic. So